92.7 WOBM. Sean Michaels here with you on this Tuesday morning. It is January 16th. Good to have you aboard with us at 8.40. Right now, 29 degrees in Tom's River. And joining me, our special guest this morning, is Dr. David Leopold, the Medical Director and Integrative Physician at Hackensack Meridian Integrative Health and Medicine. Dr. Leopold, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Really good to have you with us today. And, uh, you know, people talk about integrative health integrative medicine and it's a term we hear but maybe everybody's not quite familiar with what that necessarily means kind of give us a little background on integrative health and medicine sure uh, sean that's a great question and it's one that uh, i ask myself all the time <laughs> uh, you know tr- it, the, the traditional way of looking at integrative medicine is sort of a combination of what we would normally know as our regular medical system and then what has traditionally been called things like complementary and alternative alternative medicine but mm-hmm. uh what I really look at integrative medicine is is a way of optimizing health and well-being for any individual, uh, irrespective of whatever underlying disease condition that they might have. And so really it's a way of uh, examining what has the best chance of helping this individual with uh, the lowest possible risk of harm. And in some cases that is going to be a medical or surgical intervention. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a pill. Uh, But sometimes it's going to be things like acupuncture or stress management, maybe nutrition or exercise. And the way that we do it at Hackensack Meridian uh, Integrative Health and Medicine is we use a five-pillar approach. We look at what is uh, an individual's sleep pattern, what is their activity level, what are they doing in terms of uh, cultivating a sense of purpose for themselves, and of course things like what is their nutritional status, what do they eat, and what are they doing to manage stress? Uh, we call it resilience. It's a way of bouncing back from adversity. And so for me, it's really a combination of all those things. In its, uh, in its best sense, it can be applied to any patient, no matter what kind of condition you're dealing with, to really maximize their well-being. Very good. Uh, sort of opening up the doors to different avenues and, and so forth. What are some of the most common ailments, though, or conditions that fall into integrative health and medicine, would you say, in, in, when you're you know, seeing patients? Well, the beauty of it is that it, it can be for anything, but I think that where it's really got a great application and what's particularly relevant these days is, is pain. And uh, I spend a lot of time working with patients with chronic pain, and there are incredible interventions that can be utilized to significantly bring down the need for medication, things like acupuncture, things like exercise, activity. Uh, what somebody's eating uh, is tremendously important for their level of pain. Things like stress management, all of these things can significantly impact someone's pain. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that's a, that's a really great application. And we're seeing a lot of news and a lot of uh, you know, talk and discussion about pain management and different things. So this does you know, bring up some great alternative solutions there for folks. Absolutely. There's a um, tremendous uh, input now from the traditional medical community, major medical organizations like the American College of Physicians and Joint Commissions, uh, which are very big, very traditional organizations that are now advocating for things Mm. like acupuncture and other non-medication-based interventions for pain. Very nice. Now, speaking of things like that, are there any upcoming integrative health and medical events that we should know about uh, that folks can take advantage of? Sure. Um, Right now, we have... uh, um, We have mindfulness-based stress reduction programs that's available widespread throughout our system. We offer yoga at several locations throughout New Jersey. Uh, February is Heart Month, so we're going to have a free event February 20th, uh, which is an integrative approach to heart health at Jackson Health Village. Very good. And, of course, you can also follow you on Facebook at Hackensack Meridian Integrative Health and Medicine. And stress is such a big part of our overall health. So a lot of these integrative ways to deal with stress is definitely beneficial for anybody that's out there. Absolutely, I always call stress the X factor because yeah. throughout my career, it's uh, something that I've seen tremendously impact people's health. Uh, generally, not in a in a positive way. Yeah. The good news is that there are tremendous things that you can do: uh, mindfulness based stress re- uh, reduction, meditation, exercise. All these things really bring down people's stress levels. They make an incredible difference in people's lives. Very nice. How can people get more information or scheduling an appointment with your department? So anyone can call our office uh, at 732-263-7999 to schedule an appointment. They can also visit our website, hackensackmeridianhealth.org uh, slash integrative medicine. And um, 
happy to see everyone and see what we can do to Very take care nice. of their health issues. All these different alternatives are fantastic news and opening up a lot of different avenues for folks to seek different things and uh, integrative uh, health and medicine, uh, a welcome uh, part of our medical community. And, uh, you know, so many good, exciting things happening with that. Absolutely. Very good. Thanks for being with us, Dr. David Leopold. He's the medical director and an integrative physician at Hackensack Meridian Integrative Health and Medicine. Check out their website for more details with WOBM. The Ocean County Breakfast Show. 92.7 WOBM.